England and their one day side and the T20 side, but specifically the one day side will be in the world's shop window as far as cricket is concerned, the white ball format. Is this side good enough to win a one day trophy? Is it good enough to go all the way or is it a work in progress? They were four balls short of winning the uh, ICC World 2020 last year until uh, Mr Brathwaite came in and smashed Ben Stokes out of Eden Gardens, Kolkata. That's how close England were for the ICC World 2020. But what about this one day side? There is a white ball mentality which is a strong one with England in this group of players. There's youth, there's great athleticism, there's great belief in what they can do. There's less inhibition than we saw in the Test Series against uh, India where they lost 4-0. Uh, players, England players going into their shell. There's more of a stage here, more of a platform for England players in the one day format to express themselves. And when you just look at the age of this England side, they're in their 20s. Only one man, Owen Morgan, has just turned 30. So it's a very young side and they've looked to fight for each other in recent years. Jason Roy from Durban with three centuries. Uh, Alex Hales, the highest one day score for England, 171, which he got against Pakistan uh, last year at T Trent Bridge. Sam Billings, he's got IPL experience playing for the Delhi Daredevils. He's played for the Sydney Sixers and of as well as that, he's played for Islamabad United in the Pakistan Super League. So these youngsters have picked up valuable experience. Owen Morgan, 171 day internationals, fabulous player, dexterous player, and a good man to get on with and a good man to lead this side. Joss Butler with four centuries and also again, uh, IPL experience with the Mumbai Indians and he's played for the, Mem for the Melbourne uh, Renegades. Moen Ali, he can bat anywhere in that order. He can bat one, he can bat eight, and he bowls. You've got Chris Wokes, Adil Rashid, David Willey, the left arm quickie. He swings the ball with the brand new white ball. He is very dangerous. And Jake Ball, who can bowl quick. I think Stuart Broad, he's doing uh, wonderfully well in the Big Bash League. Uh, he's 30 years of age. I think Stuart Broad is trying to knock on that door as hard as he can to get into the side. But this is a very, very good England limited overs unit. And I believe they've got it, they've got the players to go all the way, uh, possibly to pull off a trophy. Might be the Champions Trophy on home soil in uh, June, might be the Cricket World Cup two years after that. It's a very, very good side.